In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can have your projects outside of your workspace. So in the example that I already explained in the previous videos, it has all of your projects contained within the workspace. So you see I have my workspace folder right here, and I have all of these workspaces, and then I have all of my projects are contained under this work sets folder, but I want all of my projects to be located in a different location. So say I want all of my projects under this documents folder that I have right here. And I, for right now, I have them just separated by DOTs or maybe just other projects you're working on not related to DOTs. And these would be the different projects that you have. And you could have this folder structured set up however you want. And so say when I load a project under this ALDOT folder, I want it to load within the ALDOT workspace. Or say I have the civil infrastructure. I want this to open in the workspace I have created that is called this Imperial Standards. So I want it to open in the Imperial Standards workspace. This video shows exactly how to do that. So to start, you should have already completed uh, the video one and worked through that. And that video just shows how to upload all of the this folder structure from your computer to ProjectWise. So everything is already created here. And then the next steps is what I did is I just created these three folders. So I just, you know, right clicked, new folder, and then I created the folders. And then what you need to do next is create these as project wise projects. So if you right click, I'll just revert it to a folder to show you how I did it. So right click on the folder and click upgrade to work area, click next. And you just want everything to be set to none. And then just click finish. So now my ALDOT folder is back to a project wise project. And then what I did is you need to copy over the project. So you need a folder that contains your project. So right here, my project is called project one. And then this is very similar to how it's set up here. So I'll open up just to compare. Let's do this Imperial Standards. So under my work sets, these are my different projects. You could have multiple projects. So project one, two, three, four, all under this ALDOT. And then each project has a configuration variable and a DGNWS file associated to it. So you see this it, and it's the same file name. So I have project one DGNWS and CFG. And the DGNWS different projects can point to the same DGNWS. I'll show that in when we um, start creating the CSBs. But the CFG must be the same name as your project folder. Okay, and so you also want your project folder to be a project wise project. So you right click and you click the upgrade to work area and create the project wise project. So once you have the folder structure set up as you want, then we can go and start creating the CSBs. All it creates to set up this workspace, you just need um, six variables and I'm going to create three CSBs. You could do this all in the exact same CSB. This is just one way of doing it that makes the most sense to me, but something may work better for your workflow. So to start off, I'm in Project Wise Administrator under Workspaces Manage Predefined. I'll right click and create a new configuration block. And I'm going to call this ORDCE Configuration Root. In this, you do the same for all the other videos. We want to add a variable. The variable we are adding is under bar use station configure configuration. And this points to the configuration folder. So we want to make sure it's locked and it's going to point to this folder right here. So we'll go to add. We want it to be a project wise folder. And then you want to add it to 
where your workspace is. So it's this configuration folder right here. I'll click OK, OK, and OK, and it's locked. I'm going to add one more variable that's just nice to have. It's use station display all CFG variables. That way when you open it, it displays all the variables, the hidden ones as well. Make sure it's locked, hit OK, and you are done for that CSV, and it created it right here. Now I'll go down and create a CSV at the work set level. And once again, you can locate this wherever you want. This is what made the most sense to me. So I'll click New Configuration Block, and I'm going to call this Dynamic Work Set Name Project Setups. And you can name this whatever you want, whatever makes sense for you and your company. I'll add my first variable, and this is going to be the location of the work sets. So I'll do underbar use station work sets root and this will point to the folder that contains all of the work sets or the projects so for this if i wanted to open a project under the al dot the al dot is the folder that we want it to point to so to make this dynamic first i want to make sure that i lock the variable i'll go to add to make it dynamic i'll do a dollar sign parentheses dms under bar parent project parentheses under bar dgn dir. So this is looking and it's telling me the directory of the parent project that the dgn is being opened in. So right now the project, the project wise project is this. The parent to this project project wise, the parent to this project wise project is this al dot folder. So that's what is going to define this use station work sets root. So I'll click OK. That's my first variable. The next one I'm going to add is the location of the DGNWS root. This could be different if, um, depending on how you want to store your DGNWSs, I'll have it dynamically stored just under the aldot folder or the folder that contains all the projects. So the variable is under bar use station work sets DGNWS root. I want to make sure that this variable is locked and I'm going to use the same assignment that I did for the work sets roots. So it is DMS under bar parent project DG under and I'll click OK. And then the third variable is I want to put in the name of what the project is. So this variable is under bar use station work set name. So this is the name of the project, which in this example, it's going to be project one. So I'm going to lock it and I'm going to make this dynamic dollar sign parentheses last der piece parentheses DMS project parentheses under bar DG under. So this is looking at the directory of the project and it's getting the last directory piece, so the last folder. So it's looking at this and it's getting the last folder, which is this project one, and that is the work set name or the project name. So I'll click OK and then OK. So I have all three of my variables assigned, so I'll click OK. So this is a dynamic one that you can use for every single folder. Now each project needs to know which workspace it's going to load. So what made the most sense to me would be to add this at this workspace and I'm going to create a new CSV. This is not dynamic because, for example, in this case we have the civil infrastructure. It's a different folder than the workspace I want to load it in. So I want to load any project under civil infrastructure, I want it to load this Imperial Standards workspace. So I will just type in the name Imperial Standards so that it knows to load that. You can have it dynamic, but this folder has to be the exact same name as um, as what's the works as the workspace name. So this one, I'll just call it. I'll start with Aldot. I'll just create the three. 
So L dot workspace. And I'm going to add my variable. The variable is use station workspace name. I want it locked. And I'm just going to do the name of the workspace. And that's what's contained in your workspace folder structure, which is L dot. I'll click OK. And then it created it. So you can also just create a copy to make it a little bit easier. You can just go in and rename it. And so if you're creating multiple folders that you want to point to different workspaces, this would be the only CSV that you would have to come in and edit. So I want to change this to the Tennessee DOT. And then I'm going to make one more for the Imperial Standards. And the name for this one is Imperial Standards to match the workspace right there. OK, so now all my CSVs are created, and I'll show you now how to add them to the projects. So once again, you can add these wherever seems to make the most sense for you. I'm probably going to add them at this parent folder level. That way that all of these inherit the workspace, and each of these are pointing to a different workspace. You could even add it here and then add this workspace CSB specific to which workspace you want to load. I'll show you this. You can go to L dot, right click, properties, workspace. So I want to add my predefined CSB, which was this ORDCE configuration route. I want to add my workspace. It was the L dot workspace. And then the work set is just the dynamic one. So it's, this is the one I created and I'll click OK. And then I'm going to do the same for my civil in infrastructure folder. And this, I want to load the Imperial Standards workspace. And then the work set is also dynamic. And then lastly, for the Tennessee, Pick the Tennessee workspace and then click OK. And then to test it, we can go into one of our projects. So I'll go into this DGN one. You can create a blank DGN from seed. Just go to new document. And then you can use the advanced wizard and walk through it and just create it from a seed file. So I will. So I will go back to my workspace. And grab this seed file. Click open. I'll just call it demo test. I want it to open in Open Roads Designer. And now I'll just double click to open it. Once the DGN is loaded, you can go to File, Settings, Configuration, About Configuration. And you can see that it's loading the correct workspace CFG, my project or my workset CFG. And you can also go to Configuration Variables to open all of your variables and you can search for organization and make sure that it's loading the correct organization level, which in this case it is. So that is how you set up your projects to be contained away from your workspace structure. And another point is the benefit of this is that you can keep your any folders in here 
read only to any user so they're not making any edits to the workspace and you can have your projects just contained separately from it all.